The top story on the Washington Post today is an article that the NSA has infiltrated the cloud data centers of Yahoo and Google worldwide. Now this is not some conspiracy theory that I found on a discussion forum. This is the top story in today's Washington Post. This is really important because what it shows, what this document shows, is that the NSA has found a way uh, where the public internet meets Google's cloud. They've found a way to infiltrate that and to add and remove the encryption that's there. And the document, as the Washington Post points out, is a bit cheeky because they put a smiley face there where they've managed to infiltrate this. They actually put a smiley face. So at least these people have a sense of humor even if they don't have any respect for our Constitution and laws. So what this document shows is that the NSA has access to clear text data within Google's cloud. This includes your Gmail emails, uh, Google Docs, and other Google services that you may be using. And this affects people around the world, not just people in America. And at least the PRISM program was operating under the, supposedly under the auspices of this FISA court authorization this program, called the Muscular Project, is operating under no court order whatsoever, and it is targeting, quote, flagship American companies, according to the Washington Post, and these companies include Google and Yahoo, which are two of the most prominent internet companies in the world. So if you use Gmail, if you have an Android phone, this affects you. I will link to the full article in the video description below. Please share this information widely. This is not some abstract thing. This is something that affects you, you know, unless you want random government agents snooping through all of your emails whenever they want, or snooping through the photos that you store in the cloud, photos of your family and friends, photos of intimate partners, text message communications, uh, you know, group documents that you've shared or worked on at your workplace or the organization you work for, unless you want all of this stuff potentially being rifled through by an unelected security official, this is something that needs to get out there because it's in clear contrast to what these guys are saying to Congress right now. You know, James Clapper is making it seem as if this stuff is not happening. This document shows that it is. Thank you for watching.